Well, 27 years and four national tours. It can only be the woman in black can stay. I'm off to meet the cast, but there's one particular member I'm not too keen on meeting. Let's go, Jenny. ED Rider, sponsored by ABC Taxis, achieving best customer service. She's not here, is she? Well, David Acton and Matthew Spencer, thank you for joining me, the two cast members of The Woman in Black. Just tell us a little bit about history about The Woman in Black itself and, and, and how it differs from the film, because I think I imagine a lot of people who come to see this have seen the film and maybe expecting the same thing, is that right? Yeah, I suppose people, a lot of people who are, um, have seen the film then come and see the play, you know, they're tempted to come and see the play. What's it like live? And it's really quite different. It's a quite different experience seeing it live in a theatre with, you know, real people and... Well, people say there's a woman, but I've, I've never seen her. But <laughs> if you were to see someone, then you might be quite surprised <laughs> by, by it in the real, in the flesh. Yeah. Um, it, uh, our adaptation of it, well, the adaptation by Stephen Malatrat, is uh, very close to the novel, to Susan's novel. The story of Wooden, Woman in Black, the way that we tell it, is the fact that we, we um, Arthur Kipps, that David plays, is, is, is a kind of troubled man who, who went through something pretty traumatic in, in, in his younger years and he now is at a point in his life where he needs to tell it, he needs to mm. tell this story and get it out. And so he asks me, an actor, to come and help him tell that story. And so from, from this set that we're sat on, um, we, we go from just the two of us, we decide we're going to tell this story and out of nothing, out of a few bits of, of scenery, of, of props, of costume, the two of us then take on all of the different characters, all of the different sets and, uh, and tell the, the, this very kind of moving, hopefully, sometimes funny, but quite tragic story of, uh, of what happened to Arthur Kipps in, in his youth. Yeah. And it was brought to stage by Peter Wilson, who's the former CEO of correct, the, the Theatre yeah. Royal. So, I mean, it's kind of bringing it home, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. And Peter, I think, has been involved with it right from the very start. Because it's been... I can't remember, what year was it when it started? It was about 86, 87. 87. 87. Yeah. So it's 30 years, and it's yeah. been on in the West End now for nearly 30 years. And it goes out on tour every two years. Uh, and, and Peter has been a champion of the play ever since he first saw mm. it uh, in Scarborough, where it was done as just as a kind of little extra. There was a little bit of cash left over at the end of the season. And uh, a, a play was commissioned with, you know, you can't have more than no more than four characters at most and it was just put on in the bar yeah, as fantastic. an extra show over winter uh, 30 years ago and it's just gone on from there and it's just been a, this huge success. Norfolk is, or Norwich in particular has got a lot of history to it and a lot of ghost stories so it kind of does fit quite nicely here. I mean, are you well aware yeah. of Norwich and its ghost stories? Um, no I'm not, no. There's there few. must be a few ghosts yeah. in here I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. haven't seen any yet. Not yet. <laughs> I mean, you've played <laughs> lots of different theatres as well, but this is quite a sizeable theatre compared to mm. where mm. Uh, it's been played elsewhere. So does that make a difference to you as, as actors? It does. It's actually a very nice size of theatre. Mm. Uh, it is quite a long way off <coughs> to the back up there, but, it's, uh, but it's, a, it's a good acoustic in here and it's, and it's, it's quite... It's big, but it feels intimate. It, it feels really intimate feels enough. I suppose it's because the yeah. balcony is far enough forward. So there have been one or two theatres we've played where the balcony is so far back, there feels like a, an enormous cavern between yeah. us and, and particularly the upstairs audience. And that is tricky. It's quite tricky then to create an atmosphere. But this is small enough, as you say, large, but small mm. enough to be able to, to, to build up a tension and an atmosphere. It mm. certainly felt like that last night. Yeah, yes. brilliant. So you got a good reaction from the North yeah, Republic. We did. Yeah, yeah, it was lovely, yeah. lovely yeah, first great. show last night. And you've got some more shows coming up. You obviously want some, to fill some more seats, so you know, sell it to us. What, what's the, what's the, the, the best part of the show for you two? How would you sell it? Well, for me, I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful play about theatre. It's a celebration of theatre. It's a celebration of storytelling. And um, 
it's, it's so very simple in the fact that it's just the two of us that I think coming to see some, see a wonderful story being told very simply, but y y yeah. I, and is it as scary yeah. as... And it's surprising, it's full of surprises. Yeah. I mean, there are scares, yeah. laughter, yeah. jokes, but it's, it's surprising. It, it, I mean, great storytelling is about surprises, isn't it? Little nooks and turns as the story mm, yeah. gets told. And it's like that all the way through. Brilliant. There are so many different settings, so many different characters in it. Mm, yeah. it's, it's, it, I mean, it and it starts from nothing. Yeah. It starts from a drab set like this with an old man who can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> and out of that, and people are going, what the hell? And out of that arises this extraordinary story and places and uh, th things that you see that, that the imagination creates in front of you. It's mm. it's a, it's fantastic. Yeah, and it's on here till Saturday, the twenty second. <coughs> yeah. uh, you have a matinee on the Saturday. Yeah, well, we do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want people to come and see it. But but thanks for joining me. Thank Pleasure. you. And, and break a leg. I guess that's what they say, isn't it? Thank, Thank you very you much. Yeah, we should yeah, might yeah. be quite easy on this and slope that we're sitting yes, on. At the moment. <laughs> I wouldn't be coming to see it because I am a proper scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining me. Thank, Thank you very much. much.